Today, I'm talking about how to maximize the return on investment when putting a new kitchen in a home. My name is Brent, and I'm a certified appraiser here in Washington. Let's talk about it. First, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe as I have many other videos coming out so you don't wanna miss them. And if you have any questions that I have not covered, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get you an answer. So I'm gonna talk about three factors to consider when trying to maximize the return on investment in a kitchen remodel. And then I'll talk about what your actual ROI might look like in terms of real dollars. First off, any improvement to a home and the ROI you get from it is all relative to what was there before. So for example, you buy a new construction home and you hate the kitchen. You rip it out, you put a new one in. What is the ROI? Well, it's probably zero because a new buyer won't pay for your new kitchen. They were probably fine with the one that was there before. Conversely, you have a 30 year old home with the original kitchen. A new kitchen is probably gonna get you the maximum return on investment. All right, let's jump in. Here are three factors to consider when trying to maximize the return on investment of putting in a new kitchen. Number one, match the quality of the kitchen to the quality of the rest of the home. Putting a $50,000 kitchen in a $250,000 home will certainly lose you too much money. That's probably way too much kitchen for that home. Conversely, putting a $5,000 kitchen in a home worth $2 million will reduce what that home is worth. That house is probably looking for high-end appliances, high-end quartz countertops, very custom cabinetry, and a $5,000 kitchen won't do it justice. So finding the right balance for your type of home will give you the most bang for your buck. Now, this step is probably gonna require a little bit of research on your part. So how do you do it? Well, I would go look at Redfin, look at Zillow, see what other houses are putting in. What are buyers looking for that are similar to your house? Are they looking for the high-end appliances? Are they looking for custom cabinetry? Or is basic appliances? Second point to consider when upgrading your kitchen is will it match the condition of the rest of your home? Now, we just said that the new kitchen wanna match the quality of the house, but this we need to match the condition. For example, if you have major deferred maintenance items in the home, like a roof that's about to give out, or leaking, or holes in the floor, or a bathroom shower that doesn't work, you might wanna look at fixing those before putting in a brand new kitchen. Putting a new kitchen would be great, but you might get more bang for your buck fixing other major items. The third thing I always tell people when remodeling their kitchen is can you cure any functional problems? Curing functional problems with the kitchen can have a dramatic effect on your ROI. What is a functional problem? Well, the most common ones I see is a kitchen that's closed off to any other room. Maybe opening a wall to the dining room or to the living room and create that open space that a lot of buyers are looking for. What are other things I see? Well, a sink being in the wrong place or putting in a dishwasher where a kitchen didn't have one before or putting in an island, maybe you're rearranging the appliances so it works in that triangle flow. Those are things you can do to cure those functional problems and make a, a kitchen that buyers want to have. Now, let's talk about ROI in real dollars. What are you actually gonna get back? Well, I did a deep dive in many different markets, the East Coast, West Coast, rural, urban, and I also explored different price ranges within those markets. And I paired this information with my experience in the field as an active appraiser here in the Seattle metro area. And what I found is ROI can change depend on what market you're in. Markets that tend to be very expensive like LA, San Francisco, Seattle, New York, that kind of market tend to have, they tend to have higher ROIs than more, the more rural markets have. The other variable, the higher price home, actually the greater the ROI is. Higher price homes just, buyers of those homes tend to desire nicer kitchens. And so if you have a bad kitchen and a high price home, and putting a new one in, a new buyer's gonna like, you put the right, right appliances, all that kind of stuff, you're just gonna see more return. So what is the ROI on a, on a new kitchen? Well, it's tough to boil it down to one number given all those factors I talked about, but I find that on average, you should see $1.50 to $3 for every dollar you spend on a new kitchen. Now, again, this is based on my research and my time in the field. Now, out of all the things you can do to increase the value on your home, replacing an outdated, outdated kitchen is usually what I tell people will get you the best ROI in increasing the value of your home. Now, remember, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, 
I'll be happy to answer them.